Have you ever tried to sleep with the lights on? If so, you've probably experienced the impact of light on sleep. Light suppresses melatonin, a hormone that helps promote sleep during darkness. Light also allows us to stay up later and work, socialise or do other things that we enjoy. But not all of that light stays inside our homes and our offices. Worldwide, more than 80% of people live under skies that are unnaturally illuminated at night. And humans aren't the only ones trying to sleep in these environments. We've been investigating how artificial light at night affects sleep in birds. In many ways, sleep in birds is similar to sleep in humans. Birds, like mammals, have two main types of sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, or REM sleep, and non-REM sleep. We can distinguish between these different types of sleep by looking at patterns of brain activity and muscle tone. We can also use brain activity to tell how intensely a bird is sleeping. If light at night is keeping birds awake, it could cause problems for their behavior, health, and development. First, we decided to test whether streetlights disrupt sleep in pigeons. We measured sleep in pigeons over three nights using miniature data loggers. On the first night of the experiment, pigeons experienced darkness at night, just like they had every other night. On night two, the pigeons were exposed to light throughout the night from white LED streetlights, mimicking light in an urban park. On night three, the lights were switched off again. Light at night disrupted every aspect of sleep that we measured. When the lights were on, pigeons lost four hours of sleep out of their usual 10. They had less REM sleep, less non-REM sleep, woke up more often, and their non-REM sleep was less intense. The composition of their sleep also shifted, with REM sleep making up a smaller percentage of total sleep. Pigeons recovered some sleep by sleeping more during the day, and sleeping a little more the next night. But pigeons didn't seem to recover all the non-REM sleep they lost. 24 hours after the light exposure, non-REM sleep continued to be less intense. But maybe some types of light could be better than others. To help people sleep, we have features on our smartphones that make the screens look more amber and less blue at night. And that's because blue light has a particularly strong effect on melatonin. This is true not just for humans, but for other species too. So we wondered whether using amber streetlights filtered to remove blue wavelengths of light might also benefit sleep in birds. But when we compared the effects of amber and white light on pigeons, we found no difference. Under both types of light, pigeons slept less, woke more, had less intense sleep, and shifted the composition of their sleep, just like in the previous experiment. Still, these results were just for pigeons. We decided to test the effects of light at night on another common bird found throughout Australia, the Australian magpie. This time, we also chose to do things a little differently. The pigeons had been exposed to light all throughout the night. But for the magpies, we wanted to see what would happen if they were exposed to light just at the start of the night. Would they quickly fall asleep once the lights were switched off? Or would they stay awake, suggesting that light disrupted the physiological regulation of their sleep? To test this, we used the same experimental procedure as for the pigeons but exposed magpies to white or amber light for just the first four hours of the night. During exposure to light at night, magpies, like pigeons, had less non-REM sleep, less REM sleep, woke more often, and shifted the composition of their sleep. But unlike pigeons, magpies had half as much sleep under white light compared with amber light. White light also reduced the intensity of magpie sleep, whereas amber light did not. What about the rest of the night? after the lights were switched off. When it was dark again, magpies slept more and they slept more intensely. This might mean that rather than disrupting the regulation of their sleep, light was keeping them awake directly, maybe prompting them to communicate with other magpies or to forage instead of sleeping. A bit like how we might stay up later to grab a beer with mates or to have a late night snack. Surprisingly, while magpies recovered non-REM sleep, they did not recover any of the REM sleep they had lost. This was different to pigeons, which recovered their REM sleep, but not all of their non-REM sleep. So why were the results for magpies different to pigeons? We're not quite sure. What this means though, is that the effects of white and amber light on sleep can differ between species. Switching the color of lights might help some birds, but not others. 
So we need to be careful not to assume that all animals, including closely related ones, respond to light in the same way. If we can't change the colour of our lights to help some species sleep better, there are some other solutions. We can turn off our lights when we don't actually need them. We can shield our lights so they only shine light directly where we want it to be. And we can make our lights dimmer. Perhaps if we use our lights more thoughtfully, we can all sleep a little easier.